Hey, how is everybody doing tonight? You know, it's been a while since my last post, and that's just because there's been a lot of really crazy personal stuff that I've had to deal with, and that's life, so we'll get past that. I'm back to being hardcore again and taking a look at hard comparisons and what really matters, and is there a difference that matters in your production world or mine? So let me do this first comparison. I just bought a Canon C300. Yay. I also have a C100 and I have a Ninja that records in various flavors of ProRes and DNX HD. So hey, how could I not do the comparison shootout? Let's not play games with taking nice sunny day stuff where we know that the codecs are going to be really close to each other. Let's look at very marginal situations where we're going to see the differences and that's low light and high gain because high gain puts a lot of noise into the image so i shot at 8 12 and 16,000 iso and you say well maybe that's nuts but maybe it's not because that's your working conditions you don't have a lot of light maybe you got a little light for the talent face or something but you're not lighting a whole street block up because you don't have a grip truck and a generator and all the rest of the stuff and I hope I'm not bumping this too much anyway here's the deal I went out and shot the C100 the C300 with a ninja attached and we're going to take a look at how the native codecs compare the C100 H264 at 24 megabits, the MPEG-2 on the C300, and the DNX-175 for most of this, um, on most of these shots. Well, I think you're probably going to guess how the results turned out, but if you've had any questions, let's go take a look. So, I'm going to do a split screen here. We're going to set up the C100 shooting its native 24 megabit codec, the C300 shooting its 50 megabit 422 codec, and the Ninja shooting at DNX 175. Kind of what I expected. Well, no, maybe I didn't, because I expected that the H264 codec and the C100 basically being twice as efficient as MPEG-2 would basically come out more or less equal. However, once you look at it, especially in the magnifications, um, there's a chunkiness in that 24 megabit H.264 that, well, maybe for YouTube and a small screen, it might cut it. But if you're gonna go to a bigger screen, bigger presentation, no, it's not gonna cut it. And the 50 megabit MPEG-2 on the C300 is well, rather respectable. It's not perfect. You can see that at times it gets a little chunky or noisy, but it's not macro blocky ugly. It's not where you need to apply, say, film convert or a noise filter or something else on top of it to make those macro blocks kind of fade and blend away. And of course, once you put the Ninja onto the camera and you're recording at 145 or 175 or a little bit higher, um, it becomes a completely, totally and utterly moot point because the quality of the DNX HD encoder or ProRes is just so vastly superior to the in-camera internal codecs, there's not even a competition. So the question is, what makes sense for your shooting situation? Basically, what it comes down to is that the C300 MPEG-2 50 megabit is a really very good, respectable codec, and I can't find a lot of fault with it. Um, not compared to H.264 at 24 megabits versus um, 145 or 175 megabit DNX HD. It fits very comfortably in the middle close enough to the DNX HD that for a lot of work, especially if it's going to the web, you're never going to see the difference. So don't worry about it. 